This is an oil lamp. In fact, this is an authentic replica of an oil lamp. <laughs> authentic replica. All right, so here's the way this works. You pour oil down in this oil lamp and you put a wick in the front and then you light the wick. And that flickering flame lights up a space around you. And the psalmist here says, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. This lamp will let me see where I'm going, but only so far. This little lamp, if I were to take this lamp out into the dark woods on a path and a lot of little wick there, I will be able to see what's right in front of me, but I won't be able to see what's 100 yards ahead or what's around the next bend. No, God's word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path so that we follow him in obedience step by step. Now, let me share with you the way this looks. Sometimes we get frustrated with our Bible study because God won't show us the whole picture. God's telling us how to be obedient in the present, and we're wanting to know what's going to happen 100 yards down the road. That's not the way God works. Following God, walking in his will in life is a step-by-step -step discipline illuminated by the light of his words as his word as we travel life's way. Now, here's a, here's the so what for this. Here's the so what. If the Bible is necessary for living out God's will for your life, here's here's the so what. We should receive daily bread. We should receive daily bread, at least. I'll put it this way. There's there are 168 hours in a week. 168 hours per week. 167 hours, those hours between worship services on Sunday morning, 167 hours is a long time to walk in the dark. We, if, if we are going to follow God step by step through life according to, to his word, living in his will, we are going to have to have a daily, a daily study in his word. 